Hi, I'm Brandi Fuhrman with the Research and New Therapies Program at the Epilepsy Foundation. Thank you for your interest in clinical trials. Trials are done to test a new treatment and gather information about whether it works or doesn't and what side effects it may have. Trials also collect information that's needed to help people with epilepsy and their doctors decide if this treatment might be helpful in their particular case. This set of studies, called the FAIR program, is focused on children and adolescents with Dravet syndrome, which is a severe childhood epilepsy that affects children and their families in many different ways. Unfortunately, the seizures in Dravet syndrome usually don't respond to available medications. And now, Dr. Joe Sullivan, the primary investigator for the FAIR program, will share more information with you about the fenfluramine in Dravet syndrome studies. Hello. My name is Dr. Joseph Sullivan and I serve as the director of the UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital Pediatric Epilepsy Center. I'm here today to share some information with you about a program called FAIR, sponsored by Zogenix. This program is a series of clinical trials looking at a medication called fenfluramine in the treatment of children and young adults with Dravet syndrome. Dravet syndrome is a specific epilepsy diagnosis that includes seizures but a host of other issues, including speech and language problems, behavior and developmental problems, as well as issues with movement and balance. It's estimated that Dravet syndrome affects about 1 in 15,000 people. Hopefully the information I will share with you today will allow you to determine if you are interested and eligible to participate in this unique clinical trial for this specific form. Of epilepsy. The goal of the project is to determine if ZX008, the company's abbreviation for fenfluramine, is safe and effective for the treatment of seizures when added to the current medication regimen. If you are interested and eligible to participate, you will be asked to do a couple of things. Some of these things include entering your seizures into a daily electronic diary taking the study medication or placebo, whichever you are assigned to, and coming in for a series of periodic health visits to make sure you are doing okay. This study is being conducted at a number of centers across the country, so if you are interested in learning more, please visit www.fairedf.com. More detailed information about these studies and tools to help you learn more about clinical research in general can be found on the clinical trials portal page of epilepsy.com. While the foundation is not doing this study or sponsoring it, we do feel that the FAIR study program is using new approaches to gather important information that will benefit the epilepsy community. For example, one of the unique features of the program is that caregivers' quality of life and levels of anxiety are also being measured. For the participants with Dravet syndrome, the studies measure changes in seizure frequency and side effects, as you would expect, but also whether cognitive abilities and quality of life improve. These additional outcomes help to reveal the larger picture of life with severe epilepsy. I hope this information has been helpful. Please work with your doctor and your healthcare team to learn if participating in research might be right for you. It's important to ask questions about the potential risks and benefits of the studies and exactly what participation will mean for you. Together, we can make progress for epilepsy therapy. Thank you for considering a clinical research study.